Howdy folks, uh, today we're going to make a simple little medieval sword and we're basically just going to use a cylinder and a couple of cubes and that's going to be it. Okay, let's get started. We'll get started with the cylinder. We will add a mesh cylinder. Okay, let's, we'll be working from probably the top view. So let's rotate this thing. 90 degrees on the X axis here. It's at 87 now. I'm just going to go ahead and type in 90 and that'll put it right on. Okay, let's scale this thing down. Let's go ahead and hide this guy. We don't need him for a reference. Okay, now let's scale it on the Y axis. That's a good size. And maybe scale it on the Z a little down. More like a handle. Alright, we still got these little ridges and edges in there. Let's get rid of those by just select the object. Left click, shade smooth. Okay, that's going to be our handle. Now, let's take a cube and make the uh, blade guard, I guess it's called. We will add a mesh cube. We will scale it down to where it's kind of almost touching the handle there. Okay, let's move it up using the move tool and let's scale it on the x-axis. Okay, this needs to be pretty thin. Yeah, they're, they're pretty thin looking like that. Okay, scale it on the x a little more. Okay, let's make a blade by going to add a mesh cube. Okay, let's move the cube up here. And top view, we'll just kind of scale it down to what size we th think the blade should be. Let's scale it up. Uh, that's a pretty good size right there. Now, let's sc scale it on the Z axis. I want to make it pretty thin, because you know a blade's going to be pretty thin. That's close enough. Now let's go into the edit mode. Select the blade. Go to edit mode. And we're going to add a couple of loop cuts. Add one here in the center, one here, and then we'll put one down the very middle. Okay. We're just gonna we're just gonna add some depth to this blade. We're gonna select uh, our edge edges here. We're gonna select this edge and this edge. It will pull it up a bit. Looks good. It will eyeball the bottom one. Doesn't have to be perfect. that looks good. All right, now whilst, while we're still in edit mode we'll choose our vertices right here and we'll select everyone on this edge and then we'll simply hit the M key merge it at center and there we go. Go back into object mode and then we'll move the blade down more into the guard there. There we go. We got a basic sword here. And if you want to do more work on this, you can tweak it out a lot by adding different things. But uh, let's go to this guard and do a couple of things to, it to make it look better. We'll do a loop cut in the middle, a loop cut here, and a loop cut there. And let's select these top vertices. We'll get a move tool here. Top vertices on this side. 
in this side and we'll move, move them down and we'll select the vertices there and there and we'll move these up makes it look better and actually we can select all these and move these in this direction There we go. Nice little sword. Thank you for watching. See you soon.